So I just walked out the front door and what I feel right now is definitely a bit of anxiety, nervousness, a little bit of excitement rolled in. I suppose it's the sense of wonder, the sense of mystery that comes with an adventure. So you're both anxious and excited about what lies ahead and the not knowing what that is exactly creates this great sense of wonder and mystery which doesn't feel nefarious in any way you know what I'm saying it's a good thing so anyway it's about half seven in the evening so I don't think I'm gonna get very far tonight <laughs> head good body good feet good mind good all good let's go Before I continue walking along the road here, I thought I should come in and maybe ask St. Patrick for a blessing before I continue my journey. There's something else up on the hill here I want to go and see and touch before I keep walking. I was up here around about a month ago and I was sitting underneath it. It's a hawthorn tree, fairy tree, otherwise known as. And kind of made a few wishes, just basically wanting life to be a bit better than it was. Couldn't really ask for much more than that as you begin walking from your doorstep, going on an adventure. A blessing from not only St. Patrick, but now the fairies. I'm feeling a lot of anxiety today. It comes and goes. First day nerves, I suppose. This is the highest point in County Longford. Carn Hill, there's a cairn on top of it. The English pronunciation is corn, of course. They, they decided to change it. But there's a great view from up here because it's totally flat in the Midlands and you don't need to be very high up to get a good view of what's around you. I've passed a couple of people up here now. They're out for a very late night walk which feels nice because I just, I'm not quite ready to fling myself into a, the adventure yet. So meeting one or two people up here brings that sense of safety, security. Oh, someone's seen me. Oh, someone else is up here. It's gotta be safe. <laughs> I can actually see my house from here. If I was to walk as the crow flies, I could probably be there in maybe 15 minutes. But because you're not allowed to cross over the land here, I had to walk all the way around and that took the guts of at least an hour and a half, maybe a bit longer. But right now, I feel this really strong twang, this really strong urge, I should say, to go home and to get into my bed and watch Netflix and to maybe have a bag of popcorn. <laughs> that's what the that's what the magnetism towards security and safety it is strong, especially in this day and age when there's so much fear been bandied about for so long every day, right? Okay. Co 
coast is clear and so we go into the woods. The only thing is it's not very flat and it's a bit muddy in places. I'm just gonna keep going a little bit. Okay, this here looks nice and flat, reasonably dry, out of sight. So, that's it, all set up. Midges are starting to show up now as well, don't you know? Gonna get in, maybe cook some pasta, and see if I have signal here, I should do. On the highest point in the county, something's wrong if I don't. And maybe read something or watch something on my, on my phone. I'm not gonna do the pasta. I'm gonna just try and put a wrap together with some of the ingredients I have here, which are, have some hummus, guacamole, I have a carrot, <laughs> and some cheese. I woke up a bit early this morning, around about half four, and I was lightly in and out of sleep between then and now, and it's about half six now. But the sleep that I got, so when I fell asleep last night all the way up until half four, that was just as deep as can be, as deep as this forest might be. These here, not only are they the fashion, these long johns, they're very useful on a camping trip. I sometimes wear them in the mornings while I'm walking if it's very cold and I'm in shorts, but I often wear them in my sleeping bag regardless. It's like a, an extra layer for you to wear at night time and they're comfortable to wear when you go to sleep I find. So it's worth having them in your backpack just in case. I have a little bit of a predicament. I'm waiting for a tent to arrive in the post, which I want to take on this trip. It's a much smaller tent than this one. A micro tent, in fact, it's called. And it hasn't arrived yet, so I don't want to go too far from home because the further I go, the further I'll have to walk back to, to collect it. I'm hoping it arrives today or tomorrow, which is Friday. So what I'm thinking of doing today is having a leisurely morning up here on the hill, have breakfast, and then wander down and maybe camp in the fields beside where I live for the night. And that way I'll be there if the tent arrives today or tomorrow. And if it doesn't arrive by tomorrow, I'll just carry on with the trip. I'm not even sure what the trip will entail, by the way. It could, just, it could be a few days, it could be a week, it could be more. I'm just gonna see how things go over the next few days and take every day as it comes, literally. They're my footprints, I hope.
and that's it. Good things happen to those who leave no trace. Thank you for the night stay. That's today's video guys. It would help out my channel if you could hit the like button on this video. And if you would like to see more videos like this, make sure to hit the, the subscribe button. I always find it hard to say that word. Hit the subscribe button, if you want. If you don't want to, don't. You know, I'm not here to tell you what to do. Somewhere beyond the sea, somewhere waiting for me. My lover stands on golden sand and watches the ships that go sailing.